For years the top positions on the Forbes richest people list have been occupied by American nationals, while the number one position, for the most part of the last two decades was dominated by US citizens like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, and in the last few years by Elon Musk. Only once a non-American, Carlos Slim was able to disturb this sequence for a notable period of time. However, now we have a new non-US citizen sitting on top of the Forbes billionaires list, and his name is Bernard Arno. The name might sound uncommon, but the companies he owns are among the most famous brands in the world. Fendi, Givenchy, Christian Dior, Sephora, Bulgari, Tiffany & Co, and the list just goes on. Bernard Arnault basically owns half of LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton, a French holding multinational company that deals in luxury goods. As expected, LVMH is the most dominant player in the luxury brands race and could even be considered as a monopoly. The total 2021 revenue of LVMH was 64.2 billion euros, and half of it goes to Bernard Arnault since he owns 48% of the luxury brands empire. Let's learn who Bernard Arno is and his journey to becoming the richest person in the world. Bernard Arno was born on 5th March 1949 in Roubaix, France. His father was the owner of a construction firm Ferret Savinal, and after graduating with an engineering degree in 1971, Bernard took control of his father's firm. After taking over completely, Bernard decided to shift the company's focus toward the real estate and changed the company's name to Ferinal Inc. A few years later, Bernard and Antoine Bernheim, who was managing partner at a French bank, came together to purchase a textile company. They together raised $80 million, out of which $15 million was Bernard's personal money, and they completed the purchase of this company. This purchase didn't make sense to many of their associates, as the company was already bankrupt and also owned a rather lesser-known fashion house Christian Dior. Bernard and his partner were able to get the company back on its feet, and soon Bernard was a respected businessman in the luxury brand's fraternity. In the year 1987, Bernard received an invitation to invest in an already well-established company LVMH, and he gladly accepted the offer, and after just three years of joining, Bernard became the chairman of the company. Bernard was a highly motivated entrepreneur who was ready to take over the luxury goods world. The company LVMH started acquiring other fashion houses like Christian Lacroix, Givenchy, and Kenzo. Instead of just buying fashion houses, Bernard also started acquiring leather goods companies like Celine, Berluti and also made the purchase of Sephora, which is a beauty retailer. In order to make his brand stand out among others, Bernard never hesitated to make considerable changes, whether it was hiring fashion designers from the UK or even removing himself from Givenchy and handing it over to someone else to run. The process of hiring talented fashion designers from all around the world never stopped, and nor did the acquiring of new fashion houses. Because of his contributions to the world of fashion, Bernard Arnault was given the title of Pope of Fashion by Women's Wear Daily, a journal that is considered as the Bible of Fashion. On December 12, 2022, Forbes announced that Bernard Arnault had grabbed the title of the richest man in the world, with a staggering net worth of $186.3 billion, making him 300 million richer than Jeff Bezos, whose net worth is $186 billion, and Elon Musk, whose worth is $147 billion. Bernard's fortune was around $76 billion in 2022, and it grew by $110 billion in the last 14 months because of the outstanding performance of his company LVMH. On the other hand, the current year hasn't been the best for Elon Musk financially. Since January, Musk has seen his net worth tremble by almost $100 billion because of Tesla's stock price fall. Although this didn't bother Musk's decision to purchase Twitter for $44 billion at all, and to raise these funds, Musk unloaded billions of worth of personal shares, resulting in a drop in the Forbes billionaire list. It's not commonly known that this European luxury goods magnate had already touched the top spot in the Forbes billionaire list once before as well. Thought for a very short time, but nonetheless, Bernard Arnault became the richest man in the world in 2021 as well. Bernard Arnault is the only billionaire in the Forbes top 10 richest people list who has not made his fortune in the tech business. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.